Hey everybody, Galusia here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Today we're going to have another uh, opening from my large Target haul. If you've watched past a uh, couple videos, you've heard me talk about it. Uh, had a nice big score at Target, and I've been wanting to dip more into that. I was going to do, for those of you that we're tuning in for the Pokeball 10 openings. Because in the last episode, I said that I was thinking that's what I was going to do. Uh, I'm going to save that for another time. Today, we're going to do four of these bad boys. <laughs> these uh, boxes that come with the promo card, uh, a pin, and a couple of uh, packs. And I haven't had the opportunity to start working on my Shining Fates collection yet. So I'm really excited to get into these so that I can start working on Shining Fates and see if we can get at least a couple good pulls to start everything off. So um, we have the Poltegeist one there. And then this one is the Golgarian Mr. Rhyme. And then we've got, this one is my Bunnelby. And then this one is my D. So we're going to dig into all of these. I'll show you uh, the details of what the promo card, you know, for those of you that haven't seen any of these or had the opportunity to dig into them yourself, I'll show you what the promo card looks like and the pin. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the promo card and the pins for all four of them, just so I can stack up all of the boosters, so then we can just open all the boosters all at the same time. Okay, so we're all done here. I have everything opened up. So we have our 12 boosters. So we'll be digging into those here in just a second. I'll show you the, the pins that we're all working with. There's our Gargarian Mr. Rhyme. And little Pepe, little, uh, little Pulte there, and then lastly, our Bunny, okay, so that's it for the pins, and now for the cards, uh, each of the packs had a promo card, right, so here's the, here's the DD. And then with the, uh, and then they also each had a code. So besides the codes that we would get from the boosters, we're gonna get a bonus code from the boxes themselves. So that's nice for you guys. There's the Mr. Rhyme. I think I'm my I don't I'm tossed up between the Mr. Rhyme being my fave or. The Poltegeist. I think the Poltegeist actually might be my actual favorite. There's the Poltegeist code. So there's my promos. Shining Fates Packs. 12 Shining Fates Packs. Really excited, like I said, to start my Shining Fates collections. I've been quite jealous for some time now. Um, watching other people have the opportunity to start digging into start digging into Shining Fates and you know wishing that I could get a piece of that action myself. That code card was a little bit bent, but thankfully the rest of the cards seem like they're fine. As is often the case, because these cards are new to me, uh, at least early on, I'll probably be going just a little bit slower than normal because I definitely want to get a decent look at these. I've seen the cards here and there, but okay, first rare, not bad, I'll take it. A little Lux Ray, little little hollow action there. Whoops. Rogue Code. 
some of these boxes were not a hundred percent in the best shape they were slightly bent up so i was definitely worried about the cards like the promo cards themselves uh were i think just about all of them were at least a little bit curved just because of like how they sit like in the box uh grooky but some of them uh, like one or two of them were a little bit more bent than others ball guy and yanmaga So, that's kind of a bummer, but I think that's, to at least some degree, expected that the promo, because just because of how they sit in these boxes, I think the larger uh, boxes that I have um, are probably going to be just as guilty, um, especially the giant cards. Like, I imagine it's hard to keep those giant cards stiff and in good shape, you know? Good. Two, three, four, four cards to the back. Thwacky, nice. We've already got those two done. I don't think I've ever talked about the actual like Pokemon Sword and Shield game. Uh, so I have Pokemon Shield, um, and Grookey was my guy. That was the starter that I went with. Team Yell Tower, and... Oh, this feels sticky. Nice! Yes! Dude, this is like, literally, if you're going to get a V out of this, this is the one you get. The Ditto with the huge, ridiculous uppercut. That is awesome. That's like, legit. Like, without knowing... Without having, like, every single card memorized for... Um, Shining Fates, because, again, this is my first one, so... Um, I've watched my fair share of openings, but, uh, never opened any of my cell. But from what I know of the V cards available in this, uh, that's definitely one of, if not the, uh, one that I really want to go after. So, pretty excited that we got that. Two, three, four. All right. I'm actually, like... Really happy that I got that. Of course, once again, I forgot to get my sleeves. So any good cards that I pull have to just be put in the background. I can't immediately sleeve them, which is frustrating. If I pull anything real crazy like rainbows, I'll probably literally just get up and go grab them immediately. Because <laughs> I don't I don't want it sitting out like at all. Horsey? Horsey was one of my favorite from the originals. God, we got two Team Yell Tower reverses in a row? Come on, game. And a man fee. Like, I'm already getting duplicates of reverse hollows. Like, come on now. Of uncommon reverse. It's not even a common. It's an uncommon reverse hollow. And we're getting duplicates? I'm curious to know in the comments how many of you um, actually play the online game. And are interested in the codes. Because I think it's just become like common practice that everybody just shows the codes by default. Oh my god, these double pulls. Um, as you're going through it. Oh! Look at that. So we got a Lapras V... One of the SV cards, obviously. 110 of 122. And then our rare was this little Celebi. But this is really cool. And I don't know... I think it's interesting because there's a lot of these... Um, SV cards. So I don't know... I'll put them up on screen because I'll, I'll be the first one to admit. Like, I don't know... Or, or have, like, all the um, rarities memorized. I know there's certain... I know certain uh, rainbow cards that are really sought after in Shining Fates. But for a lot of these, like, the SV, uh, like, full art-looking cards, like, I don't know which of those is more sought after than others. I'm excited to get any of them, obviously. But I'm, I'm not sure, like, which ones are more sought after than others, which ones have... Um, more value so 
Uh, anytime a card is worth like four bucks or more, I try to put that on screen just so that people can see what's up. Oh, that's a cool Eevee. He's swimming. Never seen that one before. Judo. These cards are like, I guess it's the hollow of it, which that's nice. Speaking of the hollow of it, another SV card. That one's 52 of 122. And there's a hollow of Indeedy. I'm going to put that up there too because I really like that one. I know it's not the rarest card that I can pull, but I really like it. I like the artwork. It's got a good feel to it. I'm enjoying these. Uh... It's cool that they have... Like, It's just... it's It's one of those games that I just... Um, just has like a ton of cool cards in it, you know. Like Shining Fates is obviously pretty sought after because of how many cool cards are actually in the set. Um, you know, like your Hollow cards and Ultra Rares and stuff. It just there's just a ton of them. So I'm excited for it myself. That's why I was really excited to get this finally going. In all these latest videos, you've seen those Shining Fate boxes in the background. I'm using them as a backdrop, but Professor Research, and this feels sticky, guys. Oh! Delmise VMAX. Man, we are doing pretty good, I feel. Like, we're already pulling VMAXs and stuff. Like, this is pretty freaking awesome. Look at this. It's actually hella cool looking, too. Throwing the big old hook. That, I mean, there's a lot of art in that, you know? That is a really busy card. God, these, this is why everybody goes for Shining Fates. Like, these are fun. Like, it is a lot of fun to be pulling this many. I'm going to have to move the synesty out of here because I'm going to run out of places to put cool cards in the background. Floatzel. Tropius. Horsey. Snom. Marpeco. Mr. Cactus. Mr. Choodle. Worst hollow is the Nicket and another Celebi. Are you getting copies of the rares? I mean, there's only actually 72 cards in this in the actual numerical set, but then you've got the SV cards, which there's 122 of, and then there's you know secrets on top of that. So it's a pretty big set, but the actual like numerical like, base of it is not that big. It's only 72 cards. So I would expect to see a lot of copies uh, in the common and uncommon cards. Like, I don't think it would take long to finish off all the common and uncommons in this set. If I remember, I'll try to do an update at the end of this video to show what my, like, percentage of completion is since I'm just starting it. Definitely curious to see how complete we can get it after just 12 boosters. So we got this. This is SV67. It is obviously a hollow of Roly Coley. Very cool looking. Oh my God. You have got to be kidding me. Guys, look how pretty this secret rainbow full art is. Holy heck. Al Creamy V Max, and she is super sparkly and super pretty. Wow. Golly, we are just. We're 12, 12 boosters. And we're pulling some seriously cool cards. I mean, honestly, Sinisty. Sorry, you're going to share some space there with Roly Coley. 
<laughs> I like, I mean, like, all these SV cards uh, in the packs, they're just so cool. I, I just, golly, I gotta get, I gotta find more of these. The, the Shining Fates are a lot of fun. There's a lot of really interesting cards in here. I wish I had been opening. I wish I had opened these sooner. <laughs> I got these target cards like almost a week ago now. But I can only open so many at a time. Because obviously I want to share them all with you. That's half the fun is sharing them with all of you. But yeah, these these regular cards, like almost all of these, like, like I've pulled now so far like all of these ones i pulled pull that i pull that i pull that i pull that so i don't i think the normal like of the 72 we're definitely getting through like rapidly man there is something sticky behind this trap pinch and i like can't unstickify it i'm trying to reveal this but it's literally clinging to it I'm going to show the rare card in the back first so I can properly separate these. So the rare card behind it is a Gargarian Weezing. Okay, very cool. I actually really like the hollow on that. And then these sticky guys. Oh my gosh, you have got to be kidding me. Yes, okay. So it's not the, obviously it's not the Ditto V Max, but it's the blue Ditto V, which is definitely... Like, I'm all about the dittos in these. Like, obviously, there's the dittos aren't the only ones in here. There's some really cool cards. But the dittos are something that I really was after. I'm sorry, Roly Coley. I'm sorry, Sinisty. But we got to make some space here. We got to put the dittos together. Lapras. Try not to fall again. We got the ditto in the house. That is awesome. Golly, I st and I still have two to go. Still have two to go. I really wanted, like, that was a big goal of mine. Like, can we get the dittos? And we already got two of the dittos. Obviously, we still have a VMAX to go. But the, the, the mammoth uh, giant blue ditto is definitely the one that I'm really looking for. Could you imagine if I pulled that as well? I apologize that my camera is getting a little bit jittery. My Wi-Fi has been really weird lately, and this particular the camera that I use for my cards runs off of Wi-Fi. I'm gonna get some sort of like um, booster. Uh, well, not a booster. I have a uh, like a mesh thing, so I'm gonna just get another one of those to expand it. Hopefully, in time for the next opening, because it's definitely. I mean, I could plug the camera in and make it wired, but I like being able to with my arm and not have to worry about smacking cables. Okay, so we got... Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. I was going to say, if I get a regular reverse uh, hollow instead of one of these other ones, I would like the Eevee because I love Eevee. And there it is. And this is, once again, sticky. So G get out of here. You've got to be kidding me. We got another Delmise VMAX. That is crazy. How do we have two Delmise VMAXs? 12, 12 boosters, guys. 12 boosters is what we're opening right now. I want to remind you, I've opened 11 boosters so far. Have you see, Are you paying attention to all the cards that are being pulled out of these? This is just... It's, I'm just not used to it. I'm just not used to this. Because I spent a lot of time opening Rebel Clash, trying to finish my Rebel Clash set. And Rebel Clash is just not this exciting. I love Rebel Clash. I absolutely love Rebel Clash. And there's some really good cards in there. But I'm not pulling this much craziness out of Rebel Clash. Like, it's just not going to happen. Okay, this is the last booster, though. So... I don't know if we can pull out something else amazing. Like, we've already pulled out so many good cards. What are the odds that we're going to pull out yet another, you know, V or better? We've already got, what, three Vs, two V Maxes, and then a secret 
full art, rainbow VMAX. Okay, well, that is a gorgeous... I, I just can't, guys. I just can't. So there's an ultra rare right there. So then what's behind it? All right, so we got a normal card behind it, but this is pretty dang special too. So I, it's like I can't even... I don't even know what to show you for the highlights. I don't even know what to show you for the highlight card. So obviously we just pulled this. Normally I would consider that a, a, a highlight card, but I just have so many dang cards. Obviously the dittos not being like the biggest ones in the that we pulled, but certainly some of the more fun cards that we pulled and god, that it's just so awesome. I'm just so psyched that like, that was a big goal of mine and that we already got those. The Lapras. I'm actually a really big Lapras fan. So, even though that's not the most exciting card that you can pull out of this, like, I'm all about it. But pulling duplicate VMAXs already out of the set, that blows my mind. And these are really pretty. I mean, there is a lot. You know, there's full arts and then there's full arts. This is a lot of art there's a lot going on here very very pretty card and then secret rainbow full art for al creamy that i mean it's just look at this beautiful giant rainbow cake of a of a pokemon in front of us what a great just 12 boosters and we get all of that mind is just blown and i've got two of these shining fate boxes man i hope we if we have the same kind of luck with 12 boosters that we do with 20 that are in those boxes uh we're gonna have some great videos up ahead so i've got those were the small little you know promo boxes that come with uh your promo cards and then your packs so now i've got four of the large ones that come with multiple promo codes including the like big cards uh, they're not all Shining Fates, though. Uh, we got two Shining Fates. The other two are for Champion's Path, but Champion's Path has some really good winning cards that we're still chasing. So that should be a lot of fun. So we're going to do a video of those four boxes. We still have to do the Pokeball tins that I got. I have a baker's dozen of those. And then we've got those Shining Fate boxes that you just saw uh, throughout this in the background. So we still have a lot coming down the pipeline. And then I'm probably only like, by the time this video airs, I'm probably almost going to have <laughs> my pre-orders in for Battle Styles. Got two, two boxes of Battle Styles that were pre-ordered and will be getting shipped to my house. So a lot of really good stuff coming down the pipeline. I just, I still cannot, I just, I cannot even like tamper my excitement for how good today's pulls were. Uh, thanks for coming out, everybody. I really, really appreciate it. I've been really grateful for the support lately. Uh, the views are up on all the Pokemon videos, so I really appreciate all you guys turning out for them because I really, really enjoy this. And as long as you guys keep showing up, I'll keep doing what I can to you know, get my hands on more cards and keep bringing the fun. So thank you very much for coming out to all these, and I will see you in the next one.